What's up? All right, so my new to me water-cooled computer that I just got like a week ago. It was, I mean, it was working fine. You know, it had a couple little glitches here and there and I just kind of wrote it off as it's an older motherboard and older processor, all that kind of stuff. Well, this morning, everything like, I don't really know what happened because I wasn't like watching the screen or anything like that, but you know, I tried to move the mouse and there was no cursor. So I thought it kind of locked up, you know, I didn't even try using the keyboard or anything like that. So I just hit the restart button and then when it restarted at the boot up screen, you know, where it tells you your processor, your memory and what drives are hooked up and blah, blah, blah. It was all like real, real glitchy and it kind of just froze there. So I was like, all right, so maybe I have a memory problem or something. I don't really know. You know, and I tried to go into BIOS. I couldn't do anything. Well, it also kept saying no keyboard attached. So I tried another keyboard, hooked it up, you know, restarted it again. Same thing happened. Real glitchy. And it would say the keyboard was not hooked up. So I did have one older keyboard with a purple plug on it, you know, and luckily this computer still had that port on it. So I plugged that keyboard in it and I had a working keyboard but it still wouldn't do anything and it took like 10 minutes just for it to get into BIOS so I was like all right well there must be at least a memory problem so I pulled all the memory tried one at a time same thing and then I tried <laughs> hi hi so then I tried one at a time, the same thing, nothing happened. And then I tried some other known good working memory, same thing. It didn't really want to do anything at all. And it took forever just to get into the BIOS. So then I pulled the video card, you know, swapped video cards out and all that kind of stuff and the same thing. So the only other thing that I could think of, oh, and I checked all the plugs and all that kind of stuff too. Um, so I thought maybe there, there's there gotta be something. So I unhooked the hard drives, you know, that. No, 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 that's mine, I need that. Unhook the hard drives, you know, to see if maybe there was something bad with those. Did you see that? Um, and then, you know, I tried everything that I could think of, and then I thought, well, the only other thing that's left is the processor, because when I first got this computer, it kept restarting whenever I was trying to get Windows to load, and then I found out that it kept restarting because the processor was getting hot, just overheat and then shut off. And then I finally noticed that the screws that hold on the water block over the processor weren't as tight as they should be, so then, of course, I tightened them up and then everything seemed to work pretty good. So that leaves me to think that maybe this processor was already like bad or maybe I made it bad. I'm not exactly sure. So then I went down to the recyclers to see if he had any more processors and he did have two. The one that's in here is an i7-975 and it's the extreme edition. I'm not really sure what that means. I went down there and he had a Xeon E5530 and this one is a 2.4 gigahertz. The one that's in there I think is a 3.33 or something. So he had this one it's from a server and he also had another i7 950 which is also compatible with this one uh, it's just a little bit slower than what's in here now and this one is a 3.06 gigahertz so I'm gonna attempt of course the faster one first to see if that fixes the problem if there's not really a change then I'll swap processors to the other one that's a little bit slower and see if there's a change and if this one doesn't work, then I'm gonna say it's probably a bad motherboard. So that's what I'm gonna do real quick is throw in a processor and then see what happens. All right, well, here goes. Hope it don't leak water. Yeah. It's got pretty good paste on it already. No leaky leaky. I don't know if it's just gonna fall out or what. Yep. I mean, I don't know what causes a processor to look bad or anything, but 
It almost looks like there's a pin bat in there. All right, well, hopefully you can see that roughly in the center there. It looks like there's a pin that's either bad or something. So I'm gonna have to take a closer look at it and see if I can maybe, I don't know if I can repair anything like that or not. So that's what I'm gonna do next is just look at it with a magnifying glass or something. And I'll report back whenever I find something. Definitely looks bent. Hmm. We got something going on down there. One of these pins is not like the other. Kind of looks like a bent pin. I just can't stick my head down there close enough. I gotta use the camera to see it. So I am going to attempt to bend it back somehow. All right, well, there has to be a bent pin or something in there because it definitely looks a little bit different than everything else. So I'm gonna attempt to fix this and we'll see what happens. And I'm gonna have to use like tweezers or something. So yeah, and it's pretty much these. These are like the tiniest pointy ones that I have. And this came with like a phone repair kit or something. So I'm gonna try to bend it with this or at least try to do something with this. Wish me luck. I think it was bent backwards. That's what it looks like. I know you can't really see it from there, but I think it was bent backwards. I'm not sure what would have bent it backwards, but I think it was bent backwards the entire time. Of course, I can't get close enough. I know you're asking why don't I just take the motherboard out and do this, but I really don't want to take all the water cooling stuff apart. I guess if it really comes down to it, that would be the way to do it. If I have to do it, I will. That little pen is blinding me, that one pen can't get the right light that I need. It's almost back. That's damn close. It's just a little bit taller, which might be okay. I'm just trying to bend it over just slightly if I can. I don't even know if this is a problem or not. Good pin. Good pin. Are you gonna work for me? Alrighty, well, that is the pin that I bent back. Uh, it's about as good as I can get it. I really can't get it to bend like all the other pins are, but it's pretty level and I hope that will do it. So, yep, that's my fix, I guess. So we'll go with that. All right, so that was a pain in the ass. I actually could see it better without the magnifying glass. I really couldn't get a magnifying glass in there to see it because all of them that I have are huge. So yeah, I mean it's not perfect. I mean, I don't really know what else I could do to it if that's even the problem I really don't know but that pin was bent. It was bent back the other way All right, so now the real question is was the old processor bad? I don't know and then the next question is is do I try the old processor to see if it was still good? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure you guys know but I don't know. I mean I make this shit up as I go it. I'm gonna put the old one back in and see if it's fixed and if it's not then I'll throw one of the other newer ones that I got sound like a plan all right, so that's the processor that was in it already. It's the i7-975 and it's 3.3 gigahertz. 
try this guy one more time and see what happens. What's crazy is it looks like every pad on there has had a pin on it. So I'm not exactly sure what would cause the pin to bend. If you see the 100 and if you go over to the left, maybe four to six pads, that's roughly where the pin was bent down there on the motherboard. So I mean, it looks like it had some sort of pin on it at one time. So I don't know, I guess we'll see what happens. Boom! I only have enough of this stuff for maybe one or two more. All right, whatever. Welp, um, yeah, I was gonna grab just a random monitor that I have over there, but I'm just gonna, I don't feel like doing all that. I'm just gonna grab one of the monitors from my little setup right here, hook it up. I'm gonna use a random USB mouse and a keyboard because last time it said the keyboard did not show up and it was a USB keyboard. So that's what I wanna find out is if it works. And then I'll have the other keyboard with the purple pin ready, I guess, for something. I'm not really sure. Like I said, I make this stuff up as I go. Alrighty, here goes. Nothing on the screen yet, but it hasn't beeped yet either. Got a beep. I haven't seen any of the... Please wait, please wait. And I think it's working, but I don't have mouse yet, and I don't think I have keyboard. I did not put that screen on there. I don't think I have a mouse yet, but shit, that booted up through those first couple screens super fast. I have a mouse! Fuck yeah! I think that worked! Oh my god, this is awesome! Yeah, and I have I think that fixed it. Now I can do live streams again. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. This is all new to me. But it does also say in here a i7-975, 3.33 gigahertz. And all 12 gigs of RAM show up. And um, everything seems to be working in here. Let's check all the cores. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. All eight cores are showing up, so... Boom! Maybe that fixed it. What would cause one of those pins to go backwards? Or do you think it was damaged maybe from the beginning? So whoever had it before me must have had problems and therefore got rid of it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my ridiculous videos that I make up as I go and we'll see you on the next one boom water cooled at the um, um, and then whenever I so I'm guessing it would just get uh, no it's not an X um, a Zion or Xeon whatever you want to call it um, if hi buddy hi how's it going yep no you don't want to mess with that Hey. And these, um, uh, um, f yes. All right, so, um, and, and, f so I was like, all right.